Bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. And welcome back to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Steve Swat. My guest this segment is Nancy Young, who is a candidate for the City Council in the City of Tracy. Thanks for being with us. Well, let me ask you first of all, for folks who may not know you yet, uh, we have a little ways until the till the election. Tell us a little bit about yourself, why you're running, what do you what do you bring to the table? Why should people vote for you? Well, thank you for having me here today. And of course I am Nancy Young and I'm running for Tracy City Council. And my motivation for running for Tracy City Council is that I believe that I possess unique qualities that are not only just useful but are valuable for the city of Tracy for this time as we are in right now and especially given this economic climate that the, we're in. And those qualities would be what? Well, I believe those qualities for the challenges that Tracy is facing, not only Tracy, but a lot of other municipalities within California are that we need a level of integrity, mm -hmm. we need a level of business expertise, and a level of commitment that I'm prepared to bring to the city of Tracy and to I, our community. I, I know one of the, your, uh, the top issues really on your agenda is economic development. Yes. Right. And specifically, what, um, what needs to be done in Tracy, do you think, to bring more jobs into the community? For economic development, I believe that at this particular time, we need to figure out how we're going to actually position Tracy so that we're not only just maintaining our economic position that we currently have, but also to be able to even grow during this, this downturn economy that we're in right now. As far as economic um, development, I believe that there's a couple of things that we can do to better position ourselves. First, we need to look at the current businesses that we have mm -hmm. in Tracy, and we need to look at how we can better nurture those um, nurture those businesses and giving a better um, climate for them to retain them because we definitely don't want jobs leaving Tracy and so not only that but also to help them to not just survive but also to thrive during this time whether it's through business loans or whatever other means that we can offer. Um, secondly I think that we need to look at the different businesses that are looking to come to Tracy and to look at ways that we can just speed up the the permit process and to speed up the construction and to to lower some of the cost and some of the things that we may can even relax or some of the codes maybe something simple as parking allocations to give you know some some flexibility within there to help businesses to come online a little faster do you think the city council has been a little slow to do this in the past I believe that there has some been some delays and it's just given by the different people that have come in to even speak on city council nights that different people have come in to complain about the, the tediousness with the process and how there has been delays and I believe that the process could be sped up some. As you know the city of Tracy as just about every city has been in some difficulty with its budget. I mean I know there were layoffs last year, police mm -hmm. and fire on, on furloughs, uh, police and fire, fire officers on furloughs. There's a measure on the ballot that would create, that would uh, add a half cent to the sales tax right. to save police jobs, they say, fire jobs, street maintenance, things like that. What mm -hmm. do you think about that? About the Measure E, which is the sales tax, the thing with taxes, and I, I strongly believe that taxes should only really be introduced when all other measures mm -hmm. have been looked at and has been exhausted. And I don't believe that we have actually looked at all that at this particular time. I have talked to some other people within the city and even people on the streets and everything. And there's just a mix. There's a mixed reaction to that. And that's why we're actually putting it on the ballot mm -hmm. so that the people of Tracy can vote for that right. themselves. But right now you would, you would recommend a no vote because you don't think that all of the, the, the budget cutting has been put into place? Yet. Right. I know there has been some budget cuts and I just don't think that we have exhausted all the areas that could be exhausted mm -hmm. before we go to putting more taxes on people because given this economic climate, every little bit counts for everybody right now. Mm -hmm. And so I believe that that should just only be introduced when we've done everything else. All right. Well, we are out of time, uh, unfortunately, but uh, Nancy Young, I want to thank you for coming by and talking about your candidacy for uh, City Council in Tracy. Best of luck in, in November. Thank you. And thanks again for being here. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. And thanks to our viewers, of course, for watching Comcast Newsmakers. We hope to see you next time.